distributed widely throughout the United States. Superb acting, and I love Boris Karloff wearing an eye patch. So on the rural TV scale, where A is best and F is worst, Colonel March of Scotland Yard garners an A. Yes. Now it's time for another film, the 1950 crime drama, DOA, starring Edmund O'Brien. But first, the trivia question of the day. Let me extricate it here from its paper prison. Very simply, what does the term DOA represent? Now the prize, the only prize for the correct answer is one pat on the back, which is a heck of a lot better than a slap on the belly with a wet trout. Now if you want a million dollars, call Meredith Vieira, but please, please do not call us. We do not have any operators to take your calls, and if we did, we still could not afford prizes. Certainly not a million dollars. I'll take a sip of water and be back momentarily with the correct answer. Okay, I'm calling time, and again, what does DOA represent? And you're saying dead on arrival? Absolutely correct. Too easy, too darn easy. Now, in this film, Edmund O'Brien plays an accountant who has notarized the sale of iridium, a rare earth metal that had been stolen unbeknownst to him. Now, his life is in danger. Let's see who lives and who dies. Will take. I 
number of things are involved. The defendant conviction of the individual, the amount of sin, yes. You won't feel too badly for a while. Then it will happen suddenly. A day, two days, a week at the most. A day. There's nothing that can be done now. If it had been caught in time, your stomach could have been washed out. But you've had it for some time now. For at least 12 hours, haven't you, Big I don't know. You don't know? No. But now you die? No. There's no answer. Somebody knew how to handle that stuff. That wax is tinged with no relief. You might have alcohol in your body. You must have got it in liquor. I was thinking last night. I'll ring for your admission to the hospital immediately. First of all, I'll have to notify the police. Did it take for homicide? Homicide? I don't think you fully understand, Big Law. You've been murdered. That's because he signed the notarized the bill of sale for Iridium. Homicide Bureau. That's right. Get out of there.
Okay, superb acting by Edwin O'Brien. I thought it was his finest performance. He deserved an Academy Award. Didn't get it. He did win the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor in 1953 for the Barefoot Contessa, but this was by far his best role. Excellent music, superb plot line, and I want to say, they did wimp out because I, I could see where there might have been a temptation at the very end to find a last-minute cure for the hero. But no, they let him die, and that's why this is so memorable. So on the rule scale, well, first magnitude's best, Tenth magnitude worst, DOA from 1950 garners, not surprisingly, a first magnitude rating on my scale. Yes. Now, until next time, may the power of the cosmos be with you. Yes. Yes. Yes.